I wanted to show you my gray water system. I've seen a couple types on the internet and they usually collect water from one of three sources. The gutters for rainwater, the laundry machine water or shower water and then they usually put it onto the yard using some sort of drip system. I wanted to create something that could collect water from all three of those sources. I also wanted to store that water, filter it, and pump it through my sprinkler systems, which is something I haven't seen before. So that's what I'm gonna show you. This right here is the heart of the whole system. On the left, there's a cut view, and it looks a lot like a fish tank filter, only for your shower. This is gonna filter out all the big particulates like hair. Here is the system in action. I can manually switch between going straight to the sewer or going through the filter and into my storage tanks. You can see a two inch pipe going into the system and then a two inch pipe going into the sewer, which you can see better here. If the pump fails, it'll overflow into the sewer, so I never have to worry about it. This is showing the connection to the upstairs shower and you can see the inch and a quarter PVC pipe exiting the house. Here's the other side of that pipe. I have a rubber fitting there, so any movement won't damage the siding of the house. I don't have a lot of experience with PVC, so it is messy. I do plan to improve this system this is not a safe way to wire electrical, but it is a rough draft. You can see the pipe running behind the pump and through the fence and into this IBC tank. Each one is 275 gallons. They're all connected with a two inch pipe. You'll notice this black wire coming out of the top. That is a sump pump switch. I put that in there. So if the water levels get too low, it kills the pump. This first flush system is how I collect my rainwater. Water comes in the top and fills up this bottom shaft. Inside is a tennis ball, which rises to the top and blocking off the bottom chamber. And then the water will freely flow into the tank. The purpose of that is to filter out any leaves or debris. Here's a look at that pump again. There's a pressure tank underneath the pump that allows each zone to open and close without having the pump cycle, which reduces the wear and tear on the pump. This filter is a new addition to the system. I originally started out with this much smaller spin down filter, which clogged up in about a week. I replaced it with this large screen filter, and I haven't had any problems since then. The water is pressurized and runs straight into this valve control box. Let me plug in that pump and show you it in action. Right now I'm plugging the pump into the sump pump switch. Huh, this is why this doesn't work because I tripped the breaker. And everything is working as planned. The whole system is automated. The sprinkler control box will turn on the sprinklers. Since the pump has an automatic pressure switch, it'll automatically kick on with the sprinklers. Once the tanks are empty, the whole thing will shut down. That is my entire water recycling system. I'll also leave a link to everything I used in the description of this video. If you like it, let me know. If you have any feedback, I would love to hear it. I want to make the system better.